my husband had pulled a gun, hit me with a gun. It's a gun in the hands of a suspected abuser. Does he still have the weapon? Yes, he do. I have a TPO, too. I have a TPO. She obtained this emergency protection order just weeks earlier, but Darian Amir Cole was never ordered to turn over his weapons. A key section left to the judge's discretion was left unchecked. And because it's an emergency temporary order issued without Coleman being present, it's not required to be entered into a national crime database. That means Coleman could walk into any gun shop in the entire country and legally buy as many guns as he could carry. A loophole domestic violence advocates say is deadly. The very most dangerous time for victims is at the time, not just of separation, but when they reach out for help. And that is the time that an abuser is most likely to increase their violence towards the victim in order to maintain control. So could Robert Cave. Police found a handgun, a rifle, plus a sawed-off shotgun in his car that moments earlier pulled into his wife's driveway. And again, Cave's temporary protection order never banned weapons. And so could Preston Robinson. The weapon ban on his temporary order went unchecked as well. And just weeks later, his ex-girlfriend told police Robinson pulled out his handgun and was going to empty the entire gun if she called police. But we found something even more alarming, a deadly window of opportunity between the moment an emergency temporary order is issued and a full hearing where a suspected abuser is present. 10 days for Cave, almost three weeks for Robinson. So those perpetrators that are likely to use guns or seek guns, you know, have all the ability in the world to be able to get a gun during that time. It could be days, weeks, months, you know, even longer than that. Ron Kennedy's sister was shot to death by her abuser. That's a 911, where is your emergency? Christy Weiss was murdered by her husband, who then killed himself. Christy had taken out this emergency protection order last January. But 13 days went by before a full hearing was held. And remember, only abusers who have full hearings are banned from buying guns at federally licensed gun shops. In Christie's case, every day that went by without that being a full protection order was another day for her abuser to legally buy a gun. Correct. And this is leaving women at great risk. That's correct. Two months before Christy was shot to death, Stephen Bice opted to legally purchase a gun outside a gun show from a private seller. So how easy is it for abusers to buy guns? Inside Ohio's jails and prisons. If you have a protection order, you shouldn't be allowed to purchase or carry a firearm at all. I believe that too. Loopholes like we just showed you are no secret. How many of you have had a protection order against you? These men are all serving time for domestic violence. And if you can't control your anger, yeah. if you can't control your anger, that can be. You're thinking she just put me in jail and no. yeah. I'm gonna you know, come back. I'm gonna you feel betrayed. I'm gonna you want to get even, you, you know, you, you're angry. All take no. responsibility and are talking openly to expose loopholes and protect potential victims. And at the heat of the moment of an argument, you end up shooting her and anybody else around. And, and how exactly. easy would it be? You know, honestly, honestly even, even to get a gun. Did, how easy would it be? Yeah. Uh, it would be so easy. Yeah. I mean, easy and all that. Yeah. If you don't have a fan, like you said, you can just walk into a gun store and buy one over yeah. the counter. Even so, when it comes to outlawing gun sales, as soon as an emergency protection order is issued, the National Rifle Association argues the rights of suspected abusers trump the rights of potential victims. But these temporary restraining orders are based simply on a brief statement by an accuser. So the individual accused who's in jeopardy of losing their Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms, they don't have an opportunity to go to the judge or to tell their side of the story. And we're very concerned about that. 